here we are. The NFL schedule. It's out. Oh boy. A lot is going into this season. A lot of insanity. We've already seen how crazy the offseason has been so far. The NFL schedule proves to continue to the day. It, it proves that the NFL continues to have the most insane offseason I think I've seen in quite some time. In these 18 weeks, in these 272 games, spanning from September the 8th to January 8th, we will see so much excitement, so much intrigue, so much how in the world did they pull this off. And, you know, it starts with the Super Bowl champion LA Rams taking on the Buffalo Bills at SoFi on Thursday, September the 8th. And then, you know, week one's a double header for both networks again. Remember, they started that last year. You know, and then, you know, Sunday Night Football, of course. My Dallas Cowboys playing on Sunday Night. Why? I don't know why. And then, you know, Monday Night Football with the new booth of Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, you know, getting all that out there with Russell Wilson and those Denver Broncos. Oh, yeah. The Broncos, baby, take it on those Seahawks of Seattle, his forward team, which is going to be real intriguing. It's going to be real, real intriguing. Um, ESPN's going to put a couple games, you know, rather they're going to put they're going to put one other game on ABC that I don't know of, and they're going to put no wait, not well, not just one. It's actually three, but some of, some of these are going to be simulcast, like weeks one, three, fifteen, seventeen. And then the final week of the regular season, week 18. Uh, so, you know, ESPN also gets one of those, uh, you know, London games, the Denver Jacksonville game. Keep that in mind. They started that deal up this year. Uh, they started that early. So, you know, that's going to be really tricky. And then Thursday Night Football, of course, it's on Prime Video. And it's on Prime now with Al Michaels, Kirk Herbstreit, which is bizarre to me because you know to me I personally wanted Turner to you know try and get it get themselves back into it but no Amazon paid it Amazon paid the price they 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 gave the big bucks they gave the NFL the big bucks and you know there's gonna be 15 Amazon Prime games you know of course Sunday Night Football's got a new crew as well. You know, you got Mike Tirico up in there. You got Maria Taylor hosting what the uh, the kickoff show, of the, what, uh, Football Night in America. Now, you know that that's gonna be really tricky. You know, Sunday Night Football is always gonna be rowdy. You know, with the games they have, uh, the international games. There's gonna be five of them. You know, uh, it's gonna be really intriguing because a lot of them are very early in the season. There's one that's on Monday night in Mexico. There's three in London. You know, I believe two of them are in one stadium and one's in the other. And then there's a game in Germany for the first time. So that's going to be real fun, I think. Going to be going to be bright. Going to be up bright and early for all five of those games. I read all, at least four of those games. Four of those games are going to be real early, but not the last one. The last one in Mexico is on a Monday night. So. And then, you know, Christmas. Well, well, actually, let's go back. Let's go back to Thanksgiving, the actual holiday at the NFL, you know, owns, you know, really just owns it. They really own that, that day. Buffalo, Detroit, you know, the Giants going up against Dallas and New England, Minnesota on Thanksgiving night. You know, it's going to be really intriguing. It's going to be a really tricky Thanksgiving weekend. Let me tell you that much. It's going to be it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. It's just a lot of football, you know, Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, boy. Oh, feeds into my heart. It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff right there. And then, you know, you got Christmas now in, in the play. You know, you got Christmas now heading into play. There's also a Saturday triple header on December 17th as well on the NFL Network. There's also that. But Christmas has a triple header which is going up directly against the NBA, which I don't know how the NBA is going to counter that. But Green Bay, Miami, Denver and the LA Rams and Tampa Bay, Arizona. And keep in mind that Tampa Bay, Arizona game that's going to be on NBC can't be flexed. It's not going to be flexed. NBC can flex games. 
I believe they can select a, or rather they can, you know, do a couple in like weeks 5 and 10, and then, you know, weeks 11 through 15 and 17 and 18, they can do, you know, they can flex however they choose to flex, as usual. Uh, the Monday Night Football flexing doesn't start this year, it's, I believe it starts next year. And then, of course, you know, the final week of the regular season, you know, two games on Saturday, everybody else on Sunday. So, um, I'm kind of happy. Um, how, how did your team fare with, you know, because I know a lot of teams got a primetime games. You know, I know, the, I know the Lions didn't get any. You know, Lions technically didn't get any. Yeah, they have the Thanksgiving window, but that's... Thanksgiving window that they always get. We're talking about, you know, games at bribe time. We're talking games at, at 7 o'clock at night, you know, 8 Eastern. And excuse my hair, it's dreading up on its own. You know, it's been dreading up this way for a while now, but um, yeah, NFL schedule. How, how do y'all feel about it? Because I'm excited. I, I, my fall is filled with football and I cannot wait once again to come at you all with all the action, all the thoughts, it's all the trials and tribulations that the NFL season goes through because I mean we got a long season ahead. You know, from September to January and then the playoffs culminating in Super Bowl fifty seven in February. Oh boy. I cannot wait for the next Six months of football, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna be wild, and you know, may the victor go the spoils, if that makes any sense. So, cheers to the NFL schedule finally being out. It's been a long time coming. It's been leaking, you know, all throughout the week, but it's finally out now. And man, I'm ready. But are you ready? Tell me in the comment section below. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell, and I'll see you all later this weekend with the USFL this weekend indoor football. Take care.